Welcome pilots, my name is Hybrid V and we are here in patch 3.24 in the PT wave one 324 is finally here. And that is the big update, adding functionality to these guys, these item boxes here. So what is the big change for 324 besides this item box here, right? So the big, big change is we no longer have a global inventory. So I hit I and you can see I have nothing. I don't have any global inventory anymore. And that's because our global inventory is now in these item boxes here. Indeed, so if you want to access any of your equipment, whether it's something you purchased or any type of sub flare, you have to go to the item boxes now to equip your character. So I can search here. My character's a little peckish. So let's go look for a sandwich here. I'm going to click the item I want, click move to drawer. And then once I'm ready to pull it out, I'm going to click open drawer. It will transfer and it opens as if I'm looting a container because it's pretty much what it is. And you can see this comically large icon here is now my sandwich that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that and hit I to close that inventory screen. And now I have a sandwich in my hand. So very simple and similar to what we had before. We had the magical global inventory, but now you have to interface with this system to actually access your stuff. In this case, like if I want this chest piece, I click here, click move to drawer. And then I will click open. I can also move it back if I don't want it. So for example, the snowdrift piece here, I can click filters. We have a search functionality on top as well. Currently right now, it's not functioning whatsoever. So you'll see how I can click all these categories and stuff. I type in snow, nothing. So COG said it's going to have fuzzy, uh, fuzzy search and all kinds of other features attached to it. Currently right now, it doesn't do anything. It's a little bit busted. Uh, in some previous updates in the Evocati builds, it was working at one point, And for some reason now it just doesn't work. I hope CAG gets that fixed before it eventually goes live. I'm sure they will. But this was one of the big critiques I had initially in my Evocati update of this was that it didn't have a search function and finally got one in. I'm sure it was probably something they were already planning on. It's just they never really got around to it until it got into our hands. But anyway, let's go ahead and suit up and boot up here. So I got my core piece. Let's go to arm. So I have to, again, since search doesn't function here, I have to use this filter uh, section here. And the filters definitely can be a little bit slow depending on how the servers are behaving. And they are a little bit weird and buggy. Sometimes you'll click a filter result and it will still show everything for some reason. So I, that's why you're seeing me, you know, in the habit of clearing the filter and starting over again and then letting it filter once more. It's very, very weird. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a delay there as the servers are trying to read the items there. Now, this delay I was not seeing in the Evocati builds because we have a smaller population. But now that we are in wave one, this is the type of delays that we're seeing now with a higher population. Let's go ahead and get a sidearm here. There we go. I'm going to go into my ammo category here. And so you get a couple of these mags. Yeah, the icons are comically large. I don't know why uh, this. I don't know if this is actually going to be final or not. Uh, this is what we've had for several patches in the Evocati with these comically large icons. I don't know if again, if we're going to have any ability to resize them or if CG is going to change that at any point. Either way, this is what we have now. Uh, go ahead and clear that filter. I want to get some more food and water in my character here. So let's see. We can I'll grab one of these pips. You can also split stacks here. So you can see I can uh, split one item, although it's a little bit weird and buggy. I split one item. Uh, actually, I'll try splitting another and you'll notice I can't actually scroll down. So I have to clear it and go and set that filter up again and they should be there there they are click click and click so you can see i do multi-clicking there so i can select multiple items you can also drag and drop it to the left but i find just clicking the button seems to be helpful more than anything else so i'm gonna go ahead and equip my character now get these arms on get the helmet on backpack let's get these mags on let's get my sidearm located and so let's put this in the back again. These are comically large icons. I can't do anything about it. So it can be very hard to see what's in your inventory as a result. I don't think this is going to be finalized. I think this is just kind of something they haven't really gotten around to adjusting and finalizing yet. Possibly. I'm not entirely certain. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit strange. Let's go ahead and get a tractor beam here so I can get one of my multi-tool tractor beams. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to get, I'm going to get the rifle tractor beam. Let's do that. Open the drawer. And there we go. Double click. And there we go. Now my character is equipped. So you might be used to the old system that's currently on live right now where you open your magical inventory and then you equip everything on your character. Now you have to actually go through those item kiosks and you may be asking yourself, 
why on earth do we have to do this in the first place? Now, to my understanding, a lot of this has to do with how the back end and the items in the game actually talk to each other. There's a lot of database shenaniganery, and I am not an expert that can, you know, explain that well enough in detail. I'm sure maybe someone down below could uh, definitely comment and chime in on what's going on here. But to my understanding, and according to CIG, a lot of this kind of separation between the elements of having that inventory and also having that personal space there, that little cubby, uh, is also a very big benefit to the actual server performance. I'm going to go ahead and drink here. Don't forget you can hit Alt plus H to take your helmet off. It can be very awkward if you don't have a backpack. You may find yourself in a situation where you need to eat or drink and you have no ability to actually take your helmet off. You may have to actually just drop it so you can't put it like in your backpack or whatever if you don't have one. So you hit Alt and H to... What essentially it's supposed to do is clip your helmet to your hip, but it doesn't actually do that. Uh, it's just what it does. It just takes it off. just goes into the void and then it comes back. Hit that button again. And now I have it back on. So yeah, supposedly it's supposed to be for a performance reason. It's also supposed to be a little bit more of a kind of like immersive feeling to it. There's more tactile in this. You're supposed to actually spend some time get, getting your character all set up and ready to go. And it's grown on me quite recently, actually. I have been working with this system in the Evocati for probably a few weeks now getting used to it and originally there's a lot of pain points that you have to get over for example using this system here so for example if i loot something and i want to actually store it in my inventory i have to actually open the drawer on its own scroll to the item that's in my inventory whatever it is and then put it into the external inventory and then hit i and now it is stored in my global inventory and again like i said it's very simple and straightforward there's just one extra step and immediately at the beginning I had some weird reservations about how that was actually going to play out. Like, it felt like it was too many steps. But after playing with it for quite a while now, I'm used to it. And it's relatively simple and straightforward. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next big ticket item. All right, I'm here with my org mates from the Forgotten Heralds, True Constance and Mother Truck and Mexican. And we are going to take a look at the next big item here. And that is the brand new personal hangers yeah so now every location in the game for the most part like any major spaceport or whatnot will now have these personalized hangers it, your home location you'll have a hangar that is going to be permanently yours and it's going to be the largest size of the largest ship you have in your fleet currently in the game so that means no jpegs that you own or anything like that it is only going to be the current largest ship that you have in the game that you have access to fly currently so I'm going to go ahead and call my ship. You can see now that the hangar has an actual door system. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, cargo elevator here first real quick as we call this ship up. All right. So on the bottom left of the screen there, you have to send the elevator down. So activate the screen. Oh, yeah. Hold on. And then the down arrow. So you do have access to oh, your yeah. inventory. That's sick. All right, all right, all right. Well, then in that case, hold on. Oh, this elevator's maximum carry lift is 224 SCU. That's neat. Caution, heavy. Not to be used for passenger transport. It's six meters. Six meters, that seems like- What's a funny lot. is that uh, if you actually try to run into here as it's closing, it will try to open up again and prevent itself from going down if you try to send it down. Oh. So if somebody tries to run in there, it will auto stop itself. You know, for the time being. Oh, that is sick. And it put it all in the boxes. My, oh, I'm so happy because I bought those boxes. Oh wait, no, it it put them on top. Yeah, oh. when you spawn I yeah, when you spawn items it puts them oh, it on top. Oh, it did put them on top. Yeah, it puts them on top. Right. I'm actually going to take this tractor beam that you have up here real quick. Yoink. How dare you, sir? So currently if you go to say a cargo bay and buy these custom boxes, you can't actually open them when they're in the warehouse of your actual station or landing site or whatever, you can't actually open them there and drag and drop items into there. You have to spawn them in the world from these cargo elevators. You then have to open them up, 
and put the items by hand into the crates. It's a little annoying. I really wish CIG had made it so we could do it while it's in the warehouse. Maybe that's coming later. It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, it probably took them a little bit too long to get that going. I'm sure it's something they want to do. It's just something that you can't do right now currently. So it's a little bit annoying. Yeah, you can um, open the inventory and then just drag it as you see it, like in the world. Do it. Yeah. I'm trying to do that. Oh, you may need to detach it first. You may not be able to drag it immediately. Really? What if I just walk through it? No, that doesn't work. So I'm just gonna touch him a little bit and then do it. Yep, that worked. So what Constance is doing right now is he's accessing the actual crate and then he's from that menu actually dragging and dropping the items into the crate from the world since you can do that. Wow. I am going to acquire. Put it on my back. Not gonna lie though, this definitely means that, you know, cool looking hangers is gonna net them some pretty good money. Yeah, 100%. They just gotta fix the, uh, the breakdancing items because of the server lag. As you can see, when you look at these cruise luxes down here, right? And this ammo, they're kind of jiggling a little bit. So when you put like a table down in the hangar and then you try to put items on the hangar, it starts breakdancing and stuff because of the little server lag and packet loss that goes on in the background. So until they can get a hold of that and fix that, yeah, decorating is not really going to be a huge thing because you're going to put items on there and then eventually you're going to come back and those items are going to be all over the place and potentially clipping out of bounds and stuff like that. So wouldn't recommend it right now. Man, this is such a big feature. It's like crazy to think about this good amount of I, just like the scale of it all. Like, I, I love that in this game, you know what I mean? Like, that's that one where you look at it, and you go, wow, this is just what you got. Like, this is what I wanted when I first turned it on. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to see my fucking ship come out of the ground and you know, actually I have to like load. I wanted to load my stuff in there manually and like live out of the ship and it feels like you can do it. It's kind of cool. A lot of people, even before this patch went live, uh, were automatically just hating the idea of this and everything that has to do with it because it, you know, requires more time investment. But uh, I, can, I can understand where they're coming from because so many games reduce your time investment or make it easier for you to hop in and out. But Star Citizen has never been that game. Well, it's like any other um, like ex extraction shooter game, right? Like extraction shooters always have a time investment built into their game, whether it's Tarkov with doing like Tetris or even Grey Zone where you have to ride the helicopter in and out, which could take forever depending on where you're trying to go, right? Every looter shooter slash uh, extraction shooter has some type of time investment. And the point of that is that there's a cost involved for the time investment. You put all this time into it, you don't want to just throw yourself out there just to die instantly, right? Yeah. yeah. It's part of the risk versus reward aspect of the game, right? You put a lot of time and in investing into your equipment, your ship, your items and stuff like that. You're not going to be an idiot and throw yourself out there just to die instantly because you actually care about these items. And I think that's what they're trying to go for. And that's how like every extraction shooter, basically what they all aim to do to some degree. We gotta clear this. Um, we gotta clear this elevator so I can pull pull, uh, pull the mission cargo. You know, and yeah, the I'm thing. Just trying to put the rest of the shit in here. Yeah. No, the thing that I like about this too is you remember how we were talking about logistics team. Yeah. And this will permit people to coordinate and, like, you know, work as a unit. For. Uh... No, I think permits the wrong word. You want to use something that's a little bit more like force. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, nice. Like that? Force Damn. like that? Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you bullying me? Almost became a constant sandwich. Okay, so earlier I picked up a hauling contract, the actual entry level contract, and I shared it with these two knuckleheads. And now I'm going to actually call the hangar down and move the actual contract items up so we can take it to our destination where it needs to go. Yeah, so these are the new hauling missions where you are hired to move cargo to your destination. All right, calling the cargo up now. 
Man, why are the icons so large? Yeah, I don't know. They enlarge the icons for some reason. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just like a... Kind of a I mean, little weird. It definitely takes up a lot of space. I think they gotta like normalize it. If they want big icons, they just gotta like figure that shit out, I guess. Or make it a setting. Cause like I can actually see that being useful for some people. Pa pass it, I got a max guy like a Oh, really? That didn't work? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start the ship. Oh, it's stuck. So yeah, the basic overview for cargo hauling missions is you grab the actual mission, you then go to the location that's required to pick it up. In this case, we had to go to Port Tressler and then call the cargo elevator down, put the cargo onto the cargo elevator, call the cargo elevator up, and then now we transport it onto my MSR in this case. And then once it's locked down, I just go to the destination that's required. In this case, it could be, well, in this case for right now, we're going back to New Babbage. But it could be anywhere else in the verse. It could be at any of the landing locations, like the small outposts and whatnot. And all of them have cargo elevators, or for the most part, most of them have cargo elevators as well, too. So you would land there, get out, transport the stuff onto the cargo elevator, send the cargo elevator down, confirm, and then that would be sent to its destination and complete the actual contract. All right, we are wheels up. Gray elevator's gonna be on the left side. Out the back or out the front? Out the back. You got it, Hefe. Let's go. Oh my god, what the? F oh yeah. What kind of is this? <laughs> You may occasionally see other ships, uh, just randomly, that you can just clip through. Uh, just ignore it. Okay, you say so. Alright, you guys go ahead and start moving the boxes. I'm gonna be the foreman, I'm gonna stand here off to the side with my hands on my hip. Max, I think that I, uh, some of these boxes are supporting, but... That just fell off. Okay, I got it. Um, Lift with your back, Connie. I'll try it again now that it's been moved. You got no. it? No. No. Okay, I'll grab it, I'll grab it. Let me try. Yeah, I got it. Is that all six? Yeah. Okay, so then you would access the elevator menu, and then when you hit down, it will say, all right, this is your contract order, and you want to submit. I think it's not fully completed yet, because it says time remaining, one SU. It says zero out of six, but we have six on there, so it'll still count anyway. Oh, okay. This we deleted, or we said we submitted three of them. Uh, That's a flagrant lie. Yeah, that is a flagrant lie. Tell him to bring it back up. In flagrante. What happens if I just put an 8 SCU box on there? How are they gonna. Oh, there's, still, <laughs> there's still three on here that are. <laughs> hang on. Okay. It's probably because maybe you guys touched it last? Maybe? Uh, I'd be very awkward, but sure. I mean, I tried snapping them. Everything was snapped. There was supposed to have been snapped. Here, don't touch any. Don't touch them. Okay. When I can't do anything, can you? When do you move this one? I can't do anything with this one. Like, try and try and grab that one. I think that's the one that I I bugged. I'm gonna try it. Working? Nope, this one's mine. 
Uh, that one uh, is freaking and out. And it's gone. No, but it's right here. I cannot see it. And neither can Brett. I'll try, it. I'll try and move it. Hold on. How about now? I don't see anything. You know, what happened to good old manual labor? Oh, just there get, it is now. Just get a... Try and pick that up. You got the it? supporting. How about now? Release it. You gotta let it go. <laughs> it's just... It's just clipping into the wall. It's gone again. <laughs> no! Put it outside the... Outside the cargo area first. Because it's just... Okay. It is... Got a mind of its own right now. And to reiterate that watermark at the bottom center, folks, this again is the PTU, Public Test Universe. This is not indicative of how the live environments are. This is just the Wave 1 build, which tends to be very, very buggy. This is not indicative of how things are going to be when it goes live, just as a reminder. Now just, just keep pushing it if you can. Okay. Is it over the lip now? It's yeah, just it's floating like a there. balloon for me up in the air. Oh. Yeah. I figure if it's floating like a balloon, maybe I could pop oh. it to get it to come down. Did it fall out for you? It didn't fall. It oh, wait. Didn't. All three of us hit it at the same time with the Gregory. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Okay. We're just gonna watch. It's gonna be server error. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, floating <laughs> it's just floating away from me. Come back. It's it's on the ground for me. <laughs> I'm going to try to send the other two. Okay, I can move. Apparently, I am the one. Well, it doesn't look like it on my screen, but I believe you. Okay, send okay, her get down. off. Yeah, get off. Oh, you guys can see it? That's yeah. so weird. I'm decing from you guys. Yeah. It didn't ask me to submit that either, so these three containers just don't exist now. Apparently, because it didn't—it did not ask me to submit that for the mission. I am incredibly confused. Can we go confused. back and get three more, or no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can. Uh... Yeah, it's just—they're just there now, apparently. Yeah, they just exist there now. Well, luckily, what you can do now, CAG has a contingency for this. You can open up your contract manager, go to the actual contract itself, and you go to submit. You get half credit. Oh, okay. I can live with this. Oh, yeah, there, don't punch the merchandise. The merchandise is useless. It won't be accepted. So all I'm doing is taking up my frustrations. Okay, so that mission was a little bit of a bust due to a bug, and I don't have the ability to get any more cargo hauling missions for some reason, despite the fact that I half submitted that one. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do a sandbox trade, as it's known as, to CIG. And what that is, is we're just going to go free trade. We're going to go to an outpost and we're going to buy cargo from that outpost, put it onto the ship, and then take it to New Babbage. What's a good commodity these days? Barrel. Barrel, you say? How many uh, SUs do you think we can fit in there, Connie, with uh, all the stuff we shoved in there right now? Uh, I mean, it's an 8 and a 4, so I think it's 36 in the uh, sure. Mercury, right? Yeah. So, 24 maybe? Do 124. Hey there. 
guy at the kiosk just tried to socialize with me. Ugh. Have a good one. Disgusting. Still talking to me. Run away. Brother, I got my AirPods in. Please don't talk to me. I'm on business. Don't you see the uniform? I'm just being nice to you because I have to. Don't <laughs> fucking talk to me. All right, here comes Big Chungus. <laughs> oh uh, my god. 24 SCU of barrel. There you go. Easy. You fit more in here. Yeah, I thought it was 60 or 30 something, but what is that? 24? I think three of these 24s will fit in here. Yeah, 72 as he is, so you can get more. Three more? Okay. Uh, well, hold on. So it'll be. That's the interesting thing about cargo holding, right? Like, you have to actually look at your cargo and see what you can fit in there because I have made the mistake of before thinking like well my ship can hold x amount of cargo and then i buy the biggest container and the biggest container doesn't fit in it because you have to divide that into smaller containers i have to play a bit of tetris well, I've, I've gotta like put the stuff up here real quick like all the clothes and stuff okay so it's 16 and then another 16 so 32 more and four so 36 more if you need 36 more it looks like you could stack them to the ceiling maybe too i don't know how that works but probably I one more scu block. can go above it potentially not 100 percent certain yeah it probably goes three scu high to be honest we can test yes it goes three scu high Yep, so if that's the case, then another, what? I don't think it'll let us do it the way we want to do it. Unless you can pick the size of the boxes. That you, you can, can pick the size gonna, of the boxes. Um, I can do 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 24, and 32 SU crates. Okay, what so we need two eights and then a 24, and then uh, nine uh, fours. Sorry, eight fours. So two eights, one 24, and eight fours a barrel. Oh wait, there we go. That one, there you go. Hold on, let me see if and I can not wiggle that one. Yeah. Ooh. Here, wait, hold on, hold on. I got it. You do? Oh, sick. All right, okay. Yeah, we can let do that. Where we could just hand it to people, you know? Yeah, here, yeah, look, I'm bringing on, it down on. to you again. Alright. I uh, see, so you're using the tractor beam and then they use the inventory to drag it in rather than because the yeah, stacking doesn't work. Get... Okay. Very exactly. Smart. Big brain. It's called teamwork, baby. Well, the snapping does work is the problem, but you can't put it in there while it's snapped, right? So you've got to hold it in front of the box for people. Did you get that one? Yeah, I put it in there. Okay. It's just like an odd glowing max <laughs> lift tractor beam underneath you. <laughs> is there anything else? Uh, I don't think so. We're going to get up on top of this. Containers are here, by the way. Mex, um, do you want to test to see if you send the crate down, if it becomes your <laughs> your cargo? What? Because that was a what? big problem. Remember that, like, um... Oh, yeah. I'll... There was some re initial reports that if somebody pulls their cargo up and then somebody comes in and sends the cargo down, that's their cargo now. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, go ahead and do it while I... Yeah, yeah it doesn't let you anymore, see? Yeah. You have no, a. Uh, I think it's because there was. Um, hold on. Oh no, it does. Okay. Yeah, there it is. It, it's because he was moving the cargo. My cargo! They stole my cargo! Uh, what cargo? What? Yeah, that's that's mine now. <laughs> this man just stole my cargo. <laughs> yeah, he fucked up, kid. <laughs> it's gone. No. And you yeah, know the worst part about it. You have to pull it, it back. Hit the you ball. know the worst part about it. You literally can't do anything against that. Like, you can't retaliate because you, this is an armistice zone. This is just going to make people hate armistice Wait, zones. Wait, is it? Hold on. Yeah, it's yeah. an armistice zone. Yeah. 
People are gonna hate Armistice Zones, and I'm all about that, to be honest, because Armistice Zones are trash, and they should be gone. Well, most you can do is just maybe. most you can do is just bat them with a cargo container. That's all you can do, and then get uh, charged for assault. Yeah. All right, let's start moving stuff. Um, the ship that's really nice for doing all this is the Nomad, because the Nomad has the tractor beam, so you can literally just line it up with the cargo deck, and then you don't even have to leave the ship. Well, you have to pull the elevator back up and down, but you can then just get in the ship after you've called your cargo up, and then just use the tractor beam to just move everything onto the ship. It's so nice. Hit me an 8, Max. Copy that. What's the magic word? Hey, sir. Oh, I fucked this thing up. There we go. Ooh, this is cargo grid certified. Is that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we had a big 16er in here. Yeah, yeah, hand it over. I need that one. Copy that. You can help me a lot with the. Oh, shit. Did he touch uh -oh. it? I didn't touch it. Ah. You, uh... Alright, Connie, I don't know if this is your first time getting it in, but, uh... I mean, you, you just gotta, you gotta kind of it, angle it appropriately. It hey, you need me to take the <laughs> Oh my god, just not <laughs> fix up. Hold on. Get out of the way. Do you need me to take oh, over? It's under control! <laughs> like a weird angle on the there. cargo tetris is a thing as a cargo hauler you have to be worried uh, about yeah you remember don't mind me i'm in, in the box the i'm in the box we have you might have to move the bigger <laughs> crates here and then put the <laughs> big, big boy in last or first yeah, i mean yeah. nope he's, he's moving to be the box <laughs> <laughs> he could be one with the box yeah, he is now the all box right. once you're there all right hold on there you go. Get out. Easy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in my day. Whoa. Ah. It's all. It's all oh, the cling. The cling. <laughs> it's all clanging together. All right, hold on. I'm bringing these out of here so that we don't explode. Yeah, please. Damn, it's starting to drop me on red. <laughs> <laughs> Stop flashing red. Yeah, you can see. All right, tap into the grid. Oh, the other car, the other uh, cargo is not snapped to the grid now. The uh, personal cargo. Yeah, I'm trying to. All right, I'm gonna pull it out. I guess when they get bonked hard enough, they get unsnapped from the grid. Yeah. There we go. Snap a room. Snapped in there. Okay. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, gonna pull, I'm pulling this four out real quick. I'm gonna be the foreman. Yeah, you right, you continue Max, to be our cheerleader. Max, yeah, I'm the uh, I'm the capitalist here. I just hire you to you know. You, move stuff. you just shut up and let us work. That's what you do. <laughs> All right, lift so with your Max. You, Max. You, send, you send the checks and what the hell happened to that? Fucking All right. Team? No, oh. so turn it horizontal. No, hold on. Like what? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, take. Fun. Where where the fuck did this one come from? I, I need to move this back. Um, it's uh, I don't know, bro. I I don't know. So take that one out, and then I think we... Yeah, you rotate that one now, that it's inside. Rotate it to be horizontal. Do you remember yeah, how I used to, to fill the C2 horizontally, too? God damn, dude. It's like yeah, I fucking saw Oh, yeah, piece. it's a heavy crate, so it's going to take a second to rotate all the way around. I know that the sounds of it impacting the sides does not sound heavy at all, but it is a very heavy crate. Ding, 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 ding. Am I safe to enter? Sounds like somebody banging uh, on like a trash can. Yeah, we're good. Bring it in. Yep. You got it. You have the max left. Rotate it. I'll get the smaller boxes. Oh, it's still kind of slow for you, too, huh? Not as slow. But yeah, I got okay. stuck what? against the actual. Uh, hold on. There we go. Mm. Always later. No, I got okay, stuck so. against the other container. But this is this is how money is made now. Like you have to do this if you want to save money. You have to do it all by hand. You got to Tetris it now. You could do the automatic system, Tetris which has a time involved with it now, but obviously it costs a fee. So 
And we have personal crates here. Personal crates we're going to need in the future, obviously, for storing food, ammunition, medical supplies. There's going to be external, like, storage on the ship, but not all of it's going to have enough to store all the personal equipment and supplies okay. you may need. All right, there we go. So what you're saying is, all the shit that I've built up over the past few patches, I'm just going to have to leave at Orison. <laughs> Pretty much, because if you try to throw it in a personal crate, that's money you're leaving on the table. You gotta weigh how much you want to bring in personal equipment with you if you're gonna do a trade. Dude, I'm buying a raft. Invictus. The raft works now. You can you can snap uh, cargo to the it? raft now. Yeah. Okay. okay so why didn't we pull the raft today? Uh, well, because I wanted to try the MSR because it's fast. The raft is very okay. slow. Well, oh man. That's fine. We do the we do the raft next. I want to. Yeah, we can do the raft next. Yeah. No. You know, I've, I've had a soft spot for it. I think most of us have. I fucking love that ship, dude. Holy fuck. I love all the Argo ships so much. I right, watch your back. Ah. You can't watch his back. It's behind him. I touched that one. I'm scared of the supporting bug. Oh. Now we're good. Is the supporting bug still a thing? Or do they, like or do they fix that? Kind it's of only it. sometimes. See, like, this one's ah. fucked. Ah! Are you there? It's taking him with me. Alright, I got it. You got that one? Okay. Yeah, if you put that oh one in there. Oh my god, this is so cursed. Max is, like, prone on my screen while the cargo box is just yeah. floating away. Yeah, it's still doing it for me, too. Can you snap it? We're working on it. Hold on. Uh, the horror. God, hybrid. Ah, hybrid, no! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, wait, I got it! What have you done? I got it! Oh, wait, this one's... Oh, no, this one's exported. Sweet. Yeah, I think it hitches a little bit sometimes with the surf. No, 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 let go, it's not, let go. No, it, it, it wasn't snapped, and I didn't finish snapping it, but hold on. It's It wasn't snapped on your screen, it was snapped on my screen, hold on. Oh, okay. This is decent. Alright, let it go. There we and go. Now it's, now it's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So y'all were yeah, able it, to snap that one. It's just weird because like one of if two of us are able to see it and confirm it, then it's actually. Stupid. Yeah. No. For sure. And then if I do this, there okay. You go. Now we're loaded. And that's yeah. everything on the a... cargo elevator, right? Just double check. No. Yeah. Looks good. Oh, my bad. No, no, no. We're good. I'm just just doing a quick cursory yeah. overview. Yeah. Did you pay me for the last job? No. Your wages will be garnished. <laughs> Your wages will be garnished. You didn't even pay me for the last job. What are you talking about? Uh, in fact, actually, you owe me because the uniform you're wearing is company issued. So you it is need not to... company issued. Actually, it is. Yeah. No, no, that's a company issued uniform there. I'm going to have to uh, require payment for that. All right. So for starters, you're going to have to promptly back saying? the hell up. <laughs> Two, if you look on the inside of this armor, in this undersuit, you're gonna see that my name is on there. Not not written, but um, what's what's it? why is it so foggy? Embroidered. It so it's outside? embroidered in. First there. off, Max, I'm gonna have to give you a write-up for using strong language while on company property and on the job. So what, yeah, what that's strong gonna, language did I use? You're gonna have to come to the cockpit for your formal employee review here because we're gonna have to talk. All right, yeah, I'm pulling out the F55. That's it. <laughs> and you can. Gani, Gani, don't come to the hangar. Don't exit today. <laughs> and you can negotiate. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> you can negotiate for a lighter sentence that? through uh, under the console of operation. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Wait, dude, our fucking boxes are still here. Yep, because it's uh, it's persistent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if it's I marked as it's gonna bed? be marked as stolen eventually, so I don't, I won't even be able to sell it. It still says contracted on here. Yeah, no, it's just completely busted. Hold on, just try and send it back down. Who knows? Where's the other one? So is there like a timer associated with the cargo that you can see? For the hauling or... missions, yeah, there's like a built-in timer. And if you don't complete it within a certain period of time, or even if you abandon the contract while you still have it, uh, it will eventually mark that as stolen. And you can sell right. it 
But you can only sell it to places that take stolen goods, though. So I took the quartz and put it on here, so maybe you could try and... You never know. You never know. It's Star Citizen. You can't just, like, slide things from out of the middle anymore. No, yeah, you fine. gotta go at it. Yeah, I mean, no, no, that it makes, makes literally the most fucking sense, right? No, it does, but I used to be able to slide things out of the middle. And things like that. That's, that's why I was like, yo, we can't load these in long ways, because I couldn't get the middle to do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So. Oh, that barrel had the supporting bug. Oh, and if you guys use the raft, it would be my first time seeing the raft, like, at all. Outside yeah. of videos. We can use the, the raft. The raft is pretty, pretty sick. A little bit weird because you gotta fit it in between the clamps to get it to stick, but it's still pretty cool. That's all the container ready to go, all the barrel and <laughs> the uh, quartz that's apparently illegal now. Anyway, so unlike the missions where it asks you to submit the cargo in for the mission, this one because it's just a freely bought container that we own, I just transfer it to the warehouse and it will now go into my global inventory and it is ready to sell once it's in the global inventory. I can go to the TDD later down in New Babbage and sell it. In fact, if I go to my filters here, You'll actually see the barrel is now stored here, so I can pull it later or I can keep it here and sell it. All right, let's go ahead and pull the raft now. What are we doing here? Buying things. Waiting for a full cargo. Do you know how many SCUs it can hold? Try the cargo. Ninety-six. Too. Yeah, a lot. Uh, barrel, corundum, quartz, tungsten. The barrel's probably gonna be the best one then. Oh yes, that's the fucking price right there for SCU. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and buy one thirty-two SCU crate just to see if we can actually fit it in. I don't think uh, we can though, but it's worth a try. Uh, I have Try to. the cargo terminal. Okay, so we have a problem. The 32 oh. SCU crate does not fit in there. <laughs> you can buy the 32 uh -huh. SCU crate. It doesn't fit in there, though. <laughs> that is... Huh. I mean, huh. that makes sense. This is thing Why is am I allowed to buy it? <laughs> uh, because, you know... Uh, I got scammed. You know, issue cancel it. Issue cancel it. There you go. I've been so scammed. That's actually a reasonable thing to issue cancel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, I, I mean, can buy was... the 32 crate, but I can't pull it out because the, the thing doesn't support 32 crates. The yeah, it's not large enough. The dimensions aren't large enough. So either this needs to be larger or you don't sell the 32s. I'm oh, calling the advocacy because uh, Ray Ari has just scammed me like oh. straight up. Scammed. And now you're stuck with product that you can't even move. Oh, my God. Hey. I feel for you.
make any decent labor around here. Everybody's AFK. You don't pay enough. Excuse me, sir. I don't Let pay you to box. stand around. I got the box. You barely pay me to exist. Rosary's <laughs> the box. This. CEO comes down here, thinks he can fucking do a real man's job. <laughs> I'm like, rotate this damn box for around here. He's just like, why are you standing around? I was like, well, you know, you know exactly why I'm standing around. You don't pay me enough. Ever tell you what time you know, when I used to? Uh, I used to, to get up and go. There you go. Yo, I think I think the thirty-two could. The thirty-two fit. can definitely fit. It's just that uh, it won't because CAG. Oh, Maybe. my body I mean, these are going down. Hold on. Yeah, you're not wearing to... the right clothes for this environment. Yeah, I'm not. I need, to... I need to get up. So that way, if people are here, you know, the the obvious downside is if no, you know, you did that and the thing opened up, people would just walk away with their shit, right? But you would probably only do that if you were smart and you had your buddies here. Because I'd just be standing here waiting for the thing to come up and do this. And But I do see people getting their cargo stolen pretty frequently, I'm not gonna lie to you. I expect yeah. that to be the subreddit for the next couple of weeks. No, oh, I yeah. genuinely hope they remove the armistice on this because otherwise this is literally just gonna be people griefing others by just hanging out, you know, waiting for somebody to come by. And then, you know, you just got somebody hanging out prone and then just fucking sprint up real quick and be like, haha. Yeah, like what? Impressed. I mean, what's the worst case scenario, though? They get away with like one box before you notice, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, if uh, you get started on it, I mean, they could just wait until you start working on it. Because you don't know, because they don't know how much you're pulling, but you know how much you're pulling. And if you pull everything all at once, then that's a lot of cargo that they're about to yank. And it's not even for the games, because it's not like this individually is worth a lot. It's just, you know, just a fuck with people. And considering that there's an armistice on, I think people would probably troll doing that. I could be wrong. I could have, right. you know, the wrong idea it. about the community, but uh, I think it's very likely. I think you're wrong. You know, it really looks like they should be able to clip in between each other like this, too. But... Well, the cranes are the only things holding these together. And the cranes being non-functional is still a bit of an issue for them. Uh, yeah. That's like the benefit, because like people would say, well, why don't I just get a Freelancer Max? Because it can hold more than this. But the benefit of this guy is, for one, he's armored. Two, he has these cranes, so he can drop crates like super fast. So if you were yeah. in a combat space, or you're going to an outpost, or you're going to like a, a fob or something like that, yeah, or you needed to get the shit out of your fucking uh, ironclad, like really, really quickly to yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, having to fight the internal bay of a max would be a pain in the ass compared to this thing. Oh yeah, I mean the bays are obviously have its downsides, but that's why the Nomad's so good, right? Because it's a little pickup truck. You just fucking pop that bitch open. Boom. All right, fills up. Where the box is going? I don't know. I'm scared. I hear them dink donking around. Save the top crews. Save the for wood for. I don't. Save the. Oh, where did my cargo go? Uh, we don't know. Raft is bugged. You hear them donking around in there, but I can't. I don't know where they are. There's. Oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's all gone. I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. Yeah, man. Just... What happens if you store it and pull it back up? Oh, goodness. See, this is why it's wave one. We can't have nice things. I mean, they're so far behind schedule, I highly doubt they're going to fix this. And it's still worth reporting. There's always so many bugs in this game that falls through the cracks because they end up falling behind schedule and diverting resources elsewhere, so they end up leaving bugs patch over patch. Man, likes to play with danger. Oh! <laughs> like that, that, that was like a jump scare, yeah. That was a jump scare. Why is it wiggling? 
Boogle, boogle, boogle. Give me the, give me the boxes. It's gone. <laughs> go see if, uh, go see if, uh, it went into your, into the, uh, station storage, though. Yeah, I think it, maybe, no, no, that's the MSR's one, I think. Mm. Oh, yeah, I think it's just, uh, ditch. Dang, dude. Yeah, all right, Dang. well, the raft eats your cargo. Man, they don't do anything with the raft, poor fucking thing. Love that guy. You know, I think I just have a thing for ships well, with quad VTOL thrusters. Well, it would work if we didn't try to manually unload it, because you can just store it, and then you can have the game auto unload it for a fee. So, uh, it, technically, there's a workaround for it. It's just that, oh, My and the server's dead. Uh, well, maybe that's what, maybe we did that. <laughs> if only one could help. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, folks. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying my 324 walkthrough, showing you the major changes coming into this patch, which is the inventory changes, the cargo hauling missions, which are a little bit buggy. Sorry about that. Can't really help you there. CIG's got to fix that, as well as the just cargo in general and personalized hangar. If you did indeed enjoy this video, please leave a like as it really does help out the channel. And of course, if you want to watch more videos like this and much more down the line, be sure to subscribe as well. If you want to go a little bit more above and beyond the Call of Duty, so to speak, consider becoming a channel member like these fine folks right here. But until next time, fly safe, and I'll see you all in the black. Careful. Uh, I read they're jumping on you right now. They're going to Sonic. Yeah, no, I